Hi, with this video, I'd like to provide some insight into some of the Hoffa IQ EQ's functions. I will show you how to use the IQ EQ as a standard equalizer and also as a dynamic EQ, a deesser, and a compressor. In just one plug-in, you can make all necessary frequency adjustments and dynamic corrections. The IQ EQ is a dynamic equalizer with six bands and provides all the options of a conventional EQ. I can activate high and low cut with these buttons and adjust slope, frequency, and Q factor right here. Down here, the single bands are turned on and off. There's an annoying frequency somewhere in the mid-range of this synthesizer sound. The integrated analyzer shows that this frequency must be somewhere around 500 Hz. So, I set one of the filter bands to this frequency and reduce it with the gain control. For a more accurate detection of the frequency, I switch to solo mode. It's also possible to adjust frequency and gain directly in the display. The Q factor is changed with the mouse wheel. As mentioned before, the IQ EQ is a dynamic EQ. This means that any band can be compressed, but also expanded, and done so separately. Let me show you that with an example. This guitar has a droning resonance in the low mid-range. In order to contain this drone, I first adjust the standard filter band, but keep the gain fixed at 0 dB. After this, I activate the dynamic section and reduce the threshold value to the point where the drone is eliminated. The IQ EQ is now controlling the frequency band and reduces the gain automatically when the threshold is exceeded. This is a very musical and transparent sounding way to handle temporary resonances. Of course, you can reduce the drone with a standard static EQ, but in that case, you usually lose a lot of warmth. This functionality can also be used for superb de-essing. I set up a high shelf filter at about five kilohertz activate the dynamic function, and adjust the threshold. You've got to be careful with that tool or your speaker might have a lisp. That was a little bit too much, but now it sounds fine. But the IQ EQ is not only a dynamic EQ, you can also use it as a full range compressor and make the IQ EQ a very versatile channel strip. I choose the filter type flat in order to work on the complete frequency range. After this, I activate the dynamic function and adjust the threshold. I deactivate auto mode for this guitar and set attack and release manually. Dragging the attack control to the lowest value activates the look ahead mode. Even the fastest transients can be processed in that mode. The filter bands can be moved by drag and drop. This also changes the signal flow. In this example, the EQ band lies ahead of the compressor. As the only available equalizer, the IQ EQ is able to work on frequencies from 1 Hz to 40 kHz. I want to add a smooth analog-like high end to this sound, so I choose a high shelf at 30 kHz at a rather wide Q factor of, let's say, 0.5 and boost it. Now I want to work with the IQ EQ in the master channel. Some functions are specially optimized for mastering. For example, you can choose here if you want to work on the left or right channel simultaneously or separately. You can also work separately on mid and side of the stereo signal and thus have not only a dynamic MS EQ, but an MS compressor as well. I want to limit the stereo width for frequencies below 150 Hz in this mix in order to avoid problems in the vinyl cut. I switch the filter band to the side mode and select a low shelf. As a check instrument, I'm using the frequency correlator of the IQ analyzer. Side chain functionality is another powerful tool. With this control, it is possible to determine which signal is triggering the dynamic section. You can choose between internal and external sidechain. 
This control sets the filter for the side chain signal and allows you to perfectly adjust the setting. I want to edit this pad sound with a bass drum triggered compressor. So I activate the compressor and switch to external side chain. Now the pad is compressed with each bass drum hit. The quality of the digital EQ is also dependent on the applied oversampling. Plugins by Hoffa can be set to values of up to 64 times oversampling. There are useful tooltips for all functions. Just point on the control element to get more information. And the user interface is scalable, by the way. The IQ EQ offers a lot more possibilities than I can show in this video. You best download the free trial version and check it out for yourself.